When all the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D benchmarks came out last Thursday, I spent what felt like half a day just watching and reading all the different reviews. Depending on what games got benchmarked, the 5800X 3D sits anywhere from slightly below a 12900K to slightly above a 12900KS, which is an incredible result, taking on Intel's latest and greatest Alder Lake DDR5 CPUs just by increasing the L3 cache. Especially with the support of all the 300 and 400 series mainboards, AMD dropped a bomb on everyone with an AM4 system. But we've known about Zen 3D for quite a while now. So the next question is, will there be a Zen 4D? In this video, I will explain four major points why I think it's very likely that AMD will release a 3D Vcache version of Zen 4 and when it might hit the market. <laughs> Let's start right off with number one, the 3D Vcash trademark. In November of last year, AMD filed for a new trademark. AMD has called their 3D stacking solution 3D Vcash since the very beginning. Back then, I thought it was just a technical term they used. When I first heard about the trademark, I realized that AMD has much bigger plans. You don't trademark something that you don't plan on using in direct marketing. And when we take a look at the 5800X 3D box, you can see a very distinct label with the note Processor includes AMD 3D Vcache technology. It would be very strange for AMD to go through all of the hassle and then just release a single product with that trademark. No, I think it's very clear that AMD is planning to use the 3D Vcache badge as some kind of special edition from now on, which of course also includes the upcoming Zen 4 CPUs. So reason number one is AMD's dedication to the 3D Vcache term as a customer facing trademark. Number two is also about dedication, not in marketing, but in R&D. Creating such a bleeding edge technology not only takes a lot of time, it also takes a lot of engineering resources and costs a lot of money. AMD developed this technology in partnership with TSMC and you can be sure it was a long road from the initial idea to having actual products on the market. You can see for how long this was planned by just looking at the original Zen 3 design. From the very beginning, Zen 3 was designed with the product connection points to stack additional cache on top using so-called TSV technology. Not only was it part of the Zen 3 die from the very beginning, which means late 2020, but it also had to be part of the whole design phase for Zen 3, meaning the initial idea is much, much older. It must have been planned way back in 2017 or 2018. There's no way AMD and TSMC would spend so much money, time and effort for this to just be a one-off product. Yes, I know AMD is producing the majority of Zen 3 chips for the server market, but even there it wouldn't make sense to release such a technology for only one generation. In addition, TSMC and AMD had to invest in the proper packaging plans, because you need new production lines for 3D stacking. That means new factories had to be designed and brought into the production process, which also costs a lot of money. It's not financially viable to build a new production line for just a single release. So reason number two is the amount of money they have invested in the whole process from designing the product to manufacturing it. 3D Vcash is here to stay. Reason number three is just how effective this technology turned out to be. I have talked about the performance of the 5800X 3D at the beginning of the video. On average, Zen 3D is about 15% faster than Zen 3 when it comes to games. And keep in mind that this is with lower clock speeds and a reduce in power consumption. Zen 3 offered about 19% more IPC over Zen 2, which was a major jump in performance. The 15% Zen 3D offers over Zen 3 is another generational leap in gaming performance. With results like that, AMD would be stupid to leave such a performance advantage on the table. The next generation of 3D stacking will not only work better, maybe AMD is able to tackle heat issues in the future, and I think at some point 3D stack products will also support overclocking. The competition between Intel and AMD is just heating up. Raptor Lake will try to counter Zen 4 and after that, Intel's medium Lake generation is supposed to offer another big step up in performance, combined with a new production node. My reason number three is that a Zen 4 with 3D Vcache can keep AMD ahead of the curve. They need this technology. And finally, reason number four is the untapped potential of 3D Vcache. I have talked about it in my previous Zen 3D videos. This first generation of 3D stacking is only just starting out. While Zen 3 was created with the possibility to add 3D Vcache in the future, it wasn't designed around that technology. AMD didn't know if and when the 3D stacking would be ready for production. So the initial Zen 3 design is based on a standalone product without 3D stacking. But 3D stacking has much more potential if you design the entire CPU with 3D Vcache in mind from the very beginning. 
if you look at the die of a current high-end CPU, huge parts of the chips are used for cache. It takes out a lot of space, often more than the cores itself. One of the reasons for this is the production process that is being used. Most modern production nodes have different so-called libraries that can optimize the process for certain kinds of transistors. A process node can be, for example, optimized for logic transistors, which will allow for high clock speeds and good electrical values. Or it can be optimized for cache density, decreasing the amount of die space that is used for cache. But you can't have both things at the same time. The next step in the 3D stacking technology would be to create a base logic die for the CPU cores only with very little cache and then stack all the required cache on top. That way you can use the optimal process node for both CPU die and cache die, which in turn saves a lot of die space. Imagine Zen 3 would have been released with only 8 megabytes of L3 cache on the base die instead of 32, but a 32 megabyte cache chiplet stacked on top from the very beginning. The Zen 3 chiplet would have been a lot smaller and at the same time the final product would have had more L3 cache than Zen 3 had at launch originally. I think in the future 3 dv cache will turn from being a special product to being the norm, at least in the high-end market. It just makes sense to optimize your production process that way and it supports AMD's whole chiplet approach. So these are the four major reasons why I think AMD will very likely release a Zen 4 with 3D cache technology. Twitter leaker Kramon55 reported that AMD currently has only one production line for the 3D's packaging process and he thinks this production line will later switch to Zen 4D. But since AMD is also producing Zen 3D for the Epic server CPUs and company usually supplies server CPUs for a longer time than they supply their desktop CPUs, I think it's more likely that AMD will start a new additional 3D packing line for Zen 4 in the future. I don't think Zen 4 will be released with 3D cache from the very beginning. My current guess for a Zen 4D release would be about a year after the Zen 4 launch, so somewhere in the second half of 2023, to counter Meteor Lake. And with that, I think it's pretty certain that AMD is already well underway with the development of Zen 4D. But of course, this is just a guess. We will have to see how AMD actually approaches their next step in 3D stacking. I want to know if you think 3D cache is here to stay, and if you consider buying a 5800X 3D. Leave a comment down below. As always, if you found this video interesting, please leave a like, subscribe for more content and see you in the next video.